Let's take a look at race number 12 on Saturday at the fairgrounds. It's the grade three Louisiana Stakes. Distance of a mile and 16th with a purse of $175,000. Let's take a look at the field. The one horse is Red Route 1 at 5 to 1. He's making his four-year-old debut, and he's making his debut at the fairgrounds. He's the grade three West Virginia Derby winner. He's trained by Steve Asmus and Joel Rosario is aboard. He's a closer. He'd like a nice pace to close into. Now, this race is a mile and a sixteenth, but it seems like to me that he prefers a mile and an eighth. Now, Fairgrounds does have a very long stretch, so that may benefit him. You're getting five to one on the one horse raid route one. I will use the one horse on my tickets. At nine to five, it's Smile Happy. Now, he's coming in this race off a six month layoff. They've been having trouble trying to keep him on the track. As a three year old, he only raced three times, and as a four-year-old, he only got in four races. He is a grade two winner. On the grade two Ali Sheba, when he races well, he can be tough to beat. He's perfect at this distance. Perfect three for three. And Brian Hernandez is aboard. Whenever Brian Hernandez is aboard, his horse is a perfect two for two. Getting nine to five on the two horse smile happy. Now, last time out in the Stephen Foster, he finished fifth, but he actually lost that race before it started. During the post parade, and I, I was watching the post parade because I actually picked him to win that race. He stopped moving. He didn't want to move forward. Something got to him. Something bothered him. Something got into his head. And he literally stopped moving. They had to back him up into the gate, about an eighth of a mile from the gate. They had to back him up. His his head just wasn't in it. So McPeak gave him six months off. When his head is in it, and he's on top of his game, he's tough to beat. Getting nine to five on two horse smile happy. I will use smile happy on my tickets. Look at the three horse, Saudi Crown. Uh, he'll be forwardly placed in this race. He's your morning line favorite at eight to five. Out of six races, he's got three wins in two seconds. His only bad race, well, was was the Breeders' Cup Classic. He pressed Arabian Night, and those fractions was just way too fast. By the time he got to the stretch, Saudi Crown was done. Getting eight to five on the three horse Saudi Crown, trained by Brad Cox, written by Florent Giroux. Those two have teamed up for three of the last four wins of the Louisiana Stakes. So they won three of the last four Louisiana Stakes races. Here's uh, my question about this horse in this race. Yeah, he's the horse to beat. He's the fastest horse in the race, too. He's won the Grade One Pennsylvania Derby. But are you going to get his best in this race? Is he going to be all out for this race? You see, this isn't the race that they're targeting. Brad Cox is targeting the $20 million Saudi Cup. This is just the prep for that race. Are they going to go all out in Louisiana Stakes for the purse of $175,000 when the next race is the $20 million Saudi Cup? Are you going to get the best of Saudi Crown? Getting eight to five on him, I'm not saying he can't win, because he can win. And I'm going to use him on my tickets at eight to five. And eight to one is the four horse, Happy American. He won the grade three Louisiana Stakes last year, but that was his only win of the year. He didn't do a whole lot since then. Now, he's got a couple of nice third place finishes. The grade three Blaine, it's 14-1 in that race. And then a Stephen Foster, he ran well at 48-1. to one. Since then, fifth place finish in the Lucas Classic. 16 behind grade two Fayette. 
Last time out to the uh, Tenacious, that's a race that he won last year. Finished behind by four and a half. Hitting eight to one on the four horse, Happy American. If you look at the five, five star general at six to one, he will be forward in this race. He likes this distance. He won the Tenacious last time out at this racetrack. You're getting six to one on the five horse, five star general. I will use five star general on my tickets. At 15 to one is the six horse confidence game. Now this horse won the grade two rebel. But I don't know what happened after the rebel. That race took too much out of him. He's been a totally different horse since then. Now, yeah, he ran in the Kentucky Derby. He finished 10th. But after that, I mean, it's all been poor finishes after that. Not against the toughest competition either. Getting 15 to 1 on a six horse confidence game. And to close out the field, 15 to 1, it's Kapuna. Would also like to be forwardly placed. This horse is taking a big step up in class. But does have a win at the track. Likes the distance. Not caught in the daily racing form. Puma is supposed to scratch out of this race. Uh, I know he was cross entry to race at uh, Oaklawn, but Oaklawn's been canceled for the weekend, so I'm not sure if he's going to be a go or not in this one. Getting 15 to 1 on the 7 horse Kapuna. So these are the horses that I'm using. I'm using Red Route 1. I'm using Saudi Crown, 5 Star General, and Smile Happy. Horse I'm going to pick to win. Let's see how he does off a six month layoff, and hopefully uh, his head is into the race. Getting 9 to 5 on the 2 horse Smile Happy. I will pick Smile Happy to win. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. Good luck.